Hey guys, Jetty at EOW Trains. I went to my local hobby store a week ago Saturday and I made some purchases and I went to my local train store uh, about three days ago and bought a little something I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, the first one is a BNSF. I call them double deckers. I guess they're called intermobiles. Um, they're MTH per meal. I'll try to make uh, make it here so you can see them. See a little details. They got spring trucks on them. The uh, reason I like, grabbed this one, a guy was looking at it. He knew me. He knew I was into these. He decided he didn't want it. He said, Eddie, uh, you want it? Take it with you. So I did. What caught my eyeball was it's got a blinking light on the back. And he wasn't crazy about how the cord goes into the box car or into the container. I'm not real crazy about it either because, you know, you see the wires. They probably could have done it a different way, but, uh, you know, it's a 48-footer. I like the 48-footers. Um, and it's, like I said, it's MTH per mil. Uh, guess that's about all you guys know about them, so I really don't need to tell you a lot of detail. I got that one, and... I don't think I've posted that one in videos, but I've been building an intermobile, intermodel train. Uh, I really like the TTX. These ain't really cheap. These are the 48 foot of stove. Um, these ain't really cheap. None of my stuff was broken on it. I've heard some other YouTubers and friends of mine that some of their platforms or what have you was bulk. Um None of mine was bulk. I'm not sure if it's the same style car or what it was but thank god all mine was together um but these are really nice these are probably some of my favorite of course the csx is is my favorite into mobile cars but that's how you know i'm working like i said i'm working on a uh, working on a train for that um, i think i've got uh, one two three four five and I've almost forgot I got one in the shop. I left at the hobby store because the trucks was different. Uh, I think they're Cato trucks, the little bitty ones. I'm not a big fan of them. I don't run them. Nothing against them, but I'm not a, I just don't have them on my, my stuff. And so they'll actually scale, but still I didn't want them. So he's changing them out for me. I got to pick it up later in the week, but it's, uh, it's another TTX. And I forgot the container name. It's different than this one, but I forgot which one it is. But it'll be in a future video. Uh, but I got them, well actually I got three total. And then I, that was at my train, uh, train store. And it's in Port Orange, Florida. His name's Tony. It's called Round, Roundhouse South um, Hobbies. And he's been there 26, 28 years in the same place. It's basically Daytona Beach. Um, and he's, uh, he's about 35 miles from me, but he's honest. He's a good, uh, good, great guy. Uh, he supplies my addiction. You know how, how the addiction goes. Uh, these flat cars I got at my local um, train show. And the guy had this cardboard box, and it had a bunch of chunk in it, I guess. I bought some uh, uh, tubular track, $2 a bundle, and there's about 10 pieces in it, five, five to 10 pieces in it. Can't beat it. And he had these cars, and they'll, they've been in a future video. They need, need a little cleaning. Uh, I'm gonna clean them and oil them up. I've only ran them one time. It's the second time they've been on the track. But they got the metal trucks, or Springs, um, they got a Hillcrest Lumble. Can you see how you can see it? Hillcrest Lumble, and they're numbered one through six. And I didn't realize they was numbered till I got home and my buddy that was with me, um, he said, they're actually numbered. And they're numbered one through six. I was like, wow, $2 a piece. And I do that all day long. One of the uh, brake wheels, if you can see it, let me see here. See, if you kind of look at that, it's a little bent. I can leave it or I can fix it. For two bucks, I can either way. Uh, they roll good, they're in good shape. There's six of them. 
Like I said, they're in one of my videos with a logging train. I think it's Norfolk Southern. Uh, it's got heavy equipment and stuff on it. What caught my eye to this, guy, this guy's table was this car here. You guys know I'm a big CSX guy. I live close to one of the CSX yards. I see them every day um, for the most part. I hear them at least every day. And I just grew up watching CSX. And this is what caught my eye. You know, I seen this little piece here and I was like, oh, I like that. It's a little different. I like it. You know, it's, you can use it a couple of different things, I guess. But. And these flat cars, I don't know if I said, are MTH. Um, which I'm a big MTH fan. I guess it's because that's all really... Well, I got some Lionel stuff. Nothing bad about Lionel. I like all trains, but I'm an MTH guy for the most part. That's all I know, I guess. These here was on... Go on the side. And it looks like that, which is pretty cool. There's one missing. I looked in every box he had. He said it was missing. I guess he bought, you know, whatever from a collection. But I can make some of these or I can run it empty. I've been doing both. I like, I like them with them on it. I like them with them off of it. But $2, I'll give you $2 all day long for this car. Uh, you know, it's, to me, that's what caught my eyeball. It's really a nice car. It's length, it's, you know, it's, it's scale. To me, it's my scale. You couldn't go wrong with that. Uh, that's MTH also. And let me see here. Oh, yeah. I got a... Uh, that was from the train show. All these cars was. Except for brand to mobile. My local train store. Uh, but let me get this cranked up. I bought this at my local. I've been watching it for about a week. And I said, well, I'm going to go ahead and get it. At least down here, if you don't grab these when you see them, then you go back, it's too late. Let me back up here. I'm going to try to get it in the camera. Show it to you on the track, and then I'll take it off the track. That is a GP38-2 FEC locomotive. I just like them. I like the big noses on it. You know, I'm a big fan of the FD40s. And I'm a modern guy. I like modern locomotives. Um, and, I, you know, I just like it. I, I kind of favor blue, too, I guess. Um, but, it's like I said, it's a, a GP38-2. It's got a nice bay on it. It's got a nice horn on it. I really like the horn a lot. It's got nice crew talk. Let me take it off this track. Let me shut this down. Take it off the track and give you a little better view of it. It is. Let me see here. It's got both crew members in it. It's got a pretty nice paint job. I cleaned it up some. It is actually a used engine. Uh, I don't know what year it is. It's a Pamil. It's MTH Pamil. But it was PS2. And uh, he updated it to a PS3. Uh, once he told me that, it was sold. So, you know, it, it's, it's just a good looking engine. It's going to go good with my layout. I've got a couple, uh, a couple FEC units, mostly CSX. But... I like them. I see them too. This is the older paint scheme, somewhat similar to it. Um, you know, they got a new one that's come out now. Uh, but here in Florida, at least if you see them, you better get them when you see them, or you won't be able to, when you go back, it won't be there. 
Um, they're kind of hard to find. Uh, I think that was all I bought as far as I can remember. I'll post these uh, cars in future videos. And uh, I think the flat cars, like I said, was already posted once. But I'm going to post them again. And uh, the Intermobiles, I'm going to post them. And I'm gonna post this engine hasn't been posted in a short yet or a video. It's the first time it's been been on one. And what I'm doing with, I wanted to come on here and I'm redoing, I'm gonna redo my layout. I'm coming up, my, I have a room, my layout is upstairs. And this room is 26 by 16. It's 26 long, 16 wide. Right now, my layout's right around 23 feet long and about 12 to 13 wide. Um, a lot of it I can I can get to, but I can't get to without some kind of work or getting on my hands and knees. And I'm going to take it. I'm going to have a layout along the wall. I'm coming off the wall at least four feet um, all the way around the room. So... I'll have two straightaways at 26 feet, one on this side, one on that side, and 16 feet on each end. I'm going to have at least two tracks, because um, I have two now, two main lines. I have five total or six total, but my inside tracks are leaving, and I think I got a video that shows my layout, a couple of them that shows my layout, but that's one of the reasons I'm changing, because I can give you guys better view. Uh, different views, better views uh, of different scenes on my layout. and But I'm going at least four foot wide all the way around the room. And I'm going with 072. Uh, currently, I've been running 036 because uh, I was just kind of impatient. That's what I had at the time. And so I just kind of went with that. and But I'm going with 072 probably on uh, at least two tracks i'm probably going to do four tracks total totally it'll probably be five altogether um but it's going to be bigger than this one it'll be better than this one i will give you this is a great layout i've had a lot of fun with this one but i need to get to it i'm not not getting any younger um and i just you know i, I want to be able to get the stuff and, and uh, my wife wants to be able to get the stuff um and just be easier you know in the long run it's just gonna be easier um i'll probably do it on a weekend so you might not see no videos uh you know a few days um but i'm gonna try to as i build it i'm gonna try to make posts or at least take pictures of it as i'm building it and uh, keep you guys updated i'm thinking uh, you guys know it's a lot of work especially when you got a big layout um but it, like I said, I'm going to try to make pictures of it and let you guys see uh, uh, kind of the progress. But I think it's just going to be a weekend job. Uh, get me and a couple of buddies of mine over here and we'll take it down and put it back up, basically. Uh, but I'll keep you guys info. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't put out many of them. And uh, I'll be changing that in the future. And I appreciate you guys watching my channel. If you haven't hit that like, but like button, please like and subscribe. And have a good rest of the week. And I'll be posting some videos of the future of this and some of my new cars. I'll be posting them some in the future. Thank you guys.